Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 2nd of 2022 well, it is titled Nova Scotia Northern Lights. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of what we call the Aurora or the Northern Lights and can also be seen as the Southern Lights in the Southern Hemisphere. However, this observed from Canada in Nova Scotia uh, gives us the very distinct glows that we are used to seeing with the Aurora. And in fact, as we look out here, we can see two distinct colors in the lower regions. We see a greenish color caused by oxygen atoms. And in another up higher region, we see a red color also caused by oxygen atoms. So the different colorings depend on the different densities of the atmosphere at the regions in which these are formed. The denser the atmosphere, the more collisions occur and the quicker the atoms are de excited before they can give off their glow. So only in the very low densities, very high up in the atmosphere, can you get that red line of oxygen. And in the intermediate regions, you get to see the green line. And then further down, you don't wouldn't get to see any emission due to oxygen. So here we get to see again that green color and the red color both associated with oxygen emission. Now the other thing that you can note here is that the aurora is a glow in the atmosphere. It is not a cloud or anything. It does not block out the light from the stars. And we note that because we can see the light of the stars pointing through coming through this. So we can see stars very easily through the red aurora, which is a little bit fainter, and even some bright stars through the green aurora. Now stars will become harder to see simply because the sky is brighter, but there's nothing there that actually blocks out the, the starlight like a cloud would. And you can see a few clouds down there very close to the horizon. Those would completely block out the starlight. The aurora would not do that. And we can actually see stars straight through the aurora, much as we see in a number of the regions here today. Now the aurora was very intense here. This was taken just a couple of days ago on March the 31st as it showed an intense aurora thanks to an active region on the sun known as number 2975. And when the particles are emitted from that active region, sometimes they travel in the direction of Earth. Most of the time they travel in other directions, but every once in a while they do happen to travel in the direction of Earth, interact with our magnetic field, and then come down and strike Earth's atmosphere at the regions where the magnetic field enters the atmosphere. And that's why we see them very far north near the North Magnetic Pole in northern Canada, or very far south near the South Magnetic Pole. They're more difficult to see at lower latitudes, unless it's a really super intense storm, which will deform our magnetic field more and allow them to be visible at lower latitudes. But as the sun becomes more and more active over the next couple of years, we will be able to see more aurora and likely more even at lower latitudes than the one we're looking at today. So that was our picture of the day for April 2nd of 2022. It was titled Nova Scotia Northern Lights. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be why are we moving so fast. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.